We could be in for a treat in the night sky across the Midlands. Astronomers are tracking the potential for shooting stars to light things up. News 19's meteorologist Corey Smith explains what to look for and what it is you'll be looking at. Meteor showers are pretty predictable most of the time, but the one that we could see tonight I think it's an exception. There's a lot that we don't know, but there is some that we do know, and we could be in for a treat as we go into your Monday night. So we'll talk about what can happen and the possibility of not seeing anything as well as the timing and location if we do see things start to get going as we go a little bit later on into the night. Before we get there, though, let's talk about what a meteor storm is. You might have heard of a meteor shower before, but what is a meteor storm? It's the same thing. Meteors moving from one location in the night sky but the big difference is the amount that we see. Rates of over a thousand per hour in the night sky, really just lighting everything up. And that is the potential that we could see tonight. Now, right now, this is something we're gonna have to really watch as we go forward. There's a lot of unknowns and astronomers have been tracking the culprit. It's actually a comet that we first spotted back in 1995 known as the schwarzman washman 3 comet. We're going to call it SW3 for short. It began to break up in 1995 and you can see these images from 2006. There's a lot of debris behind this comet and there's a lot of questions how that's going to interact as the Earth passes into this as you go into tonight. If things really work out, that's where we could be in for a treat tonight. If it doesn't, well, we're not really going to see much of anything. So let's talk about timing and location. It's going to be in the western sky looking towards the constellation of Boots. And as for timing and the weather, well, it's going to be right around 1 a.m. for your Monday night. So going into your Tuesday morning with mostly clear skies. So I expect good viewing conditions if we see anything. Of course, that's the big if going forward. From the studio, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. All right, something else. I'll be up late to check it out.